This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. I've had a lot of requests lately to teach some uh, rope manipulation skills, so for this episode of the video cast, I'm going to be breaking down some of the rope manipulation stuff that I do. Now, basically what I'll be doing is I'll be holding the middle of the rope and spinning around the ends and doing some different tricks in there. For the JV, we'll be doing the basics of it, as well as how to do a crossing motion in it, and then for the varsity, we'll be doing a front and back motion with it. So um, these are a lot of fun to do. They take a lot of practice. They're not something you're going to probably pick up right away, but once you get them down and you, you get real comfortable with them, they're a real great thing to add to a routine, um, especially if you're just doing more of a performance competition. Nobody really does this, but as performing, they just look kind of cool. So I, I do them a lot in my shows because they're not super hard to do. They just take a lot of practice and skill to be able to get there. The JV skill. For the JV skill, we're going to be doing some rope manipulation skills. Now, these are something that I get a lot of requests for. People don't really do them a lot. So I'm going to kind of break down the basics of it here for the JV. Now, the first part in doing this is you want to hold the middle of the rope. And for me, I'm going to be using a beaded rope here because it shows up a little bit better. Um, you can do it with almost any type of rope. The only caveat to this is that if you're going to do this, you don't really want to use a rope that has really heavy handles, like a weighted handle rope or maybe like a wooden handle rope, because those things will spin around real fast and you you can end up having some pretty bad uh, mess ups or if the thing hits you in the head, you know, it's pretty nasty. So you want to use a rope that has handles that kind of match the weight of the rest of the rope. So this one is just kind of basic handles, beaded rope. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off spinning the rope in a forward motion. Now, spinning the rope here, I'm going to start off just spinning them at the same time, kind of like I was jumping single rope, except I'm not jumping. And you want to kind of hold the rope so that the handles are not touching the ground. Because if you're if they're whipping the ground like this, they're going to end up kind of messing up a little bit, and you don't want that. So you want to start off just holding it in the middle, working them at the same time. Once you can do that, you want to move up to going one than the other. So you're going at kind of a different motion, and then back to the, the same time. And just work on going from here. You can start, you can go fast, you can go slow, and just kind of working on one than the other. Now if I turn sideways, same thing, just turning here, same time, switching up different speeds, you know, different one than the other, and going. So you just want to work on doing those just here. Now, once you've got that down, you can start doing a cross. Now, doing crossing with this is a little bit different than, say, a single rope cross, because normally in single rope, you would cross both arms at the same time and then out. Now, if I was here and I went at the same time, I can do that, but when I'm coming out, you'll notice that the ropes will slap together, and it's because of the motion of these handles going from side to side, they're going to end up swinging a little bit towards each other at the end. So usually when you're crossing with this, you don't want to do that. Plus, this other type of cross that I'm going to show you is a little bit, uh, I think, better looking than going at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cross one arm, then the other. And this is, if you'll think about it, it's kind of like doing a side swing crisscross. I'm going to go cross, other arm on top, then I'm bring the arm out, and then this arm out. So from here, I would go right arm, and then out, it's four steps, one, two, three, four. And I can do that a bunch of times with my right arm leading. Once I can do that, you want to switch up to the other arm leading, which would be my left arm, go one, two, three, four, and out here. So I get that down pretty good. So you just want to kind of work on, you know, back and forth between these, going on them. Now, once you can do them separately like that, you want to combine them. Now, when you're doing this, it's kind of like doing two sides when crisscrosses in a row. I'm going to go cross with my right arm, left arm on top. When my right arm comes out, I'm going to leave my left arm here, bring my right arm over top, cross here, bring this one out, and then bring it back over. So the hand that's on top is going to stay there as the other hand comes over. And then when it's on bottom, it's going to swing out and then come out. So what that would look like when I'm doing it, I'll be swinging here. I'm going to go right arm leave my left arm there, leave my right arm there, and kind of just working on here. So you'll be doing two swings on one side, and then you'll switch over to the other side. And you kind of just work on going back and forth with this. And it takes a lot of skill. It's something you're not going to pick up probably the first time. Some people do. Most people, it takes a little bit of time to get this where you're not hitting yourself. And you're going to whack yourself a lot in the legs, uh, in your shins, sometimes in the back of the head. So just work on doing it. You know, maybe wear some shin guards or some pants or something so you don't end up hurting yourself. And I'll show you the cross from the side here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to start off just crossing this way. And you'll notice that the motion I'm doing here is not at the same time I'm doing them one than the other. And then I'll be doing the cross swinging. And you want to just get this so it's nice and comfortable. 
And once you've got that down, you've got the basics of doing those, you're ready to move on to a little bit more difficult skills with the rope manipulations. The varsity skill. For the varsity skill, we're going to be doing a front-back motion with this rope manipulation where I'm holding the middle of the rope. I, I've had a lot of requests on how to do this. And this one is going to seem kind of simple, but it leads into a lot of other skills that you do with rope manipulations. And you need to be pretty good at this to make this work. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is when I finish up, it's going to end up looking like this. You can either do it with a motion in front, or you can go here where every turn switches front and back. So the rope will be going one rope's in front, one rope's in back uh, while I'm doing this. Now to learn how to do this, the easiest way to do it is to start with one arm at a time. So if I start with my right arm, I would swing the rope, first of all, towards me. Now you'll notice here that before we were spinning the rope like side of my body, now I'm spinning the ropes uh, basically towards each other. So you want to start off getting this motion together. Once you've got that down, you're ready to do this. So you'll start off swinging this rope here one at a time. Now I'm going to swing here, I'm going to take a spin, go behind my back, and then front. So you want to go front, back, front, back. And once you've got it, you kind of sometimes you'll move your whole body when you're first learning it, but you want to work up to you where you're controlling it mostly with your wrist. I'm kind of swinging it a little bit front and back behind me. And if I turn sideways here, you'll notice I'm going here. And the rope's mostly just in front of me and then behind me using my wrist and my turning my hand over to get it going. So once I got it with my right hand, then I want to try it with my left hand. Same thing here, front, back, and just get this motion nice and easy. Once you've got that down, now you're ready to do it with both arms. Now the first thing you'll do is you'll start with your hands together. Now this trick, sometimes you can turn where one arm is going and then the other. This one you want to have them going about the same time. It's kind of like you're turning pop-ups or double unders inside a double dutch. So you'll be turning here. And then from here, we're going to pick, maybe, maybe let's see we can go with the right arm behind first, and then the left arm. And it's all at the same time. You don't really change the motion of the rope or the speed of the rope at all. It's just kind of keep the same pace. And we just go with one arm in front, one arm in back. And you go with, I start, usually the easiest way to start is just with one turn in the middle, and then go behind the back. And once you can do that, you can switch up where you're going, a switch on every single one. And you'll notice here that I kind of shift my body weight as I'm going. Whichever handle is in back, that's usually the way that I'm going to turn my body. So if I'm, my left arm's in back, I'll turn to the left. If my right arm's in back, I'll turn to my right. So I'll kind of just sort of spin here. And this makes it a little bit easier, especially when you move into doing here. And it looks a little bit more like you have more of a fluid motion if you move your body properly with this. So I'd be spinning here around while I'm doing it. And this one, like I said, it takes a little while to get. It's very important to be able to move into some of the other skills. Um, let's say you're here. You can start off by going here. You can actually complete a full 360. But it's all based upon just doing a front and back motion. So from here, I would kind of just complete a turn. But it's all based upon this. So you just want to work on doing this over and over again until you get that down pretty good. And like I said, a lot of these things, if you're going too fast, you may end up whacking yourself in the face or in the legs. You know, it's all part of it. So just work through it. And anyway, that's how you do that front and back motion inside of uh, the rope manipulations. For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.